In today's video review, I'm going to be discussing a buffer tube kit made by Bravo Company USA or BCM. This particular one that we're looking at here is their standard carbine weight buffer tube kit. Bravo Company sells it for $57.95. I have it on my website for uh, a little bit less if you want to buy it directly from me at TooFastTactical.com. If you want this particular buffer tube kit with a different buffer, you'd have to go directly to Bravo Company's website. You can get this with an H buffer or an H2 buffer or an H3 buffer. The H buffer kit would run you $69.95 from Bravo Company. The H2 buffer would run you $74.95 from Bravo Company. And the H3 buffer would run you $80.95 from Bravo Company. This is the box that this ships in, so this is a, a you know, a nice uh, protective uh, shipping box for, for the buffer tube kit. Uh, if we get the buffer tube kit out, it ships in a plastic bag, which I've already opened to save some time for this review. And it does come uh, assembled like so. And for our review here, let's just take all these individual components out and we'll talk about each individual component. All right, as you can see, this ships with the uh, buffer tube or the receiver extension, depending upon what you want to call it, a latch plate, a castle nut, a carbine weight buffer, and a stainless steel buffer tube spring. The Let's start with the spring. The spring is a non-polished stainless steel spring, so this is a mil-spec spring. The latch plate is uh, also uh, of steel construction. It does not have uh, the option of attaching a sling to it, so if you're uh, planning on attaching your sling to a latch plate, you'll have to get uh, buy that piece separately and Bravo Company does have a very nice stainless steel latch plate um, that accepts a, a QD attachment point. The castle nut and on the topic of castle nuts not all castle nuts are created equal. I've run into some very cheaply made castle nuts that deform when you go to torque them down. Um, if you're buying a castle nut by itself or if you're buying getting a castle nut with a kit. Um, the higher quality kits come with higher quality castle nuts um, and this is a higher quality castle nut that comes in this kit. The uh, carbine weight buffer, this is uh, a standard bronze colored uh, buffer. Um, there is no uh, Bravo Company logo on it. It uses uh, metal weights. Um, the other buffers that Bravo Company offers, the H and the H2 and the H3 are all like this. They're uh, kind of a bronze color. And the only differentiator would be that an H buffer would have an H stamped on the bottom or an H2 or an H3. Now the actual buffer tube kit, or the excuse me, the actual buffer tube, this is a six position buffer tube. This is a mil spec tube. Bravo Company does not sell commercial spec buffer tubes. This is made from a uh, 775T6 aluminum. That's very important. Uh, that's what you want on your buffer tube. You do not want the lesser expensive 6061 aluminum for your buffer tube. Uh, that's way too soft of an aluminum for a piece such as this. This has a nice uh, jet black, um, flat black uh, finish to it. Um, the threads on these are very, very nicely done, so you don't have any problems uh, screwing your castle nuts onto these threads. Um, normally, the inside of these buffer tubes have a dry film lube. Um, Bravo Company does not say if these have a dry film lube on the inside. Um, it Sometimes on these tubes, you can see the inside of the tube would be a light gray. This does look like it has a dry film lube on the inside of it, but uh, I, I don't know that for 100% uh, uh, certainty. So, um, this kit does not ship with any instructions. Uh, of course, if you're building your own um, AR, 
There's plenty of instructions on how to install this, torque specifications and so on, on YouTube. Also on my YouTube channel as well. I have used this Bravo Company buffer tube kit on a um, uh, half dozen or so builds. High quality, no issues whatsoever. Um, the only thing that uh, you know jumps out at me um, that um, I'm going to mention, it's, it's not a negative, but I'm going to mention it. Um, the top of the buffer tube here is not stamped with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or, or whatever. Um, Spikes Tactical, for example, their buffer tubes are numbered. And depending upon what type of stock you use, uh, a lot of stocks on the market have a little hole cut out on the top. And when you adjust your stock, that little hole aligns up with a number to let you know if you're at one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Um, some people like that, some people don't. Um, I'm just uh, letting you know that the Bravo Company tubes are not numbered. So if that's something that you really have to have, the, the numbering scheme, uh, you might want to take a look at a Spikes Tactical Buffer Tube. Um, other than that, that's, that's the only thing that, uh, uh, that really jumps out at me. Uh, the threading on the tube is good. Uh, all of the parts are high quality. Um, they go together and come apart uh, very easily without uh, any issues whatsoever. So, Bravo Company BCM Receiver Extension Kit or Buffer Tube Kit very good buy, good quality product, two thumbs up.